history in the major facilities we've had in the Pulse Power program is that about every decade we're able to um, have a breakthrough or, or have a new facility. This goes back to uh, the, say the mid 70s. So we've gone from Proto 2 to Saturn to, to Z and now to Refurbish Z in the last uh, 30 years. So you can think of the Refurbish Z facility as a uh, Sort of a decade facility or a generational facility. It will have uh, capabilities that we can use productively for the next decade, you know, between 2015 and 2020, to be able to put in place a, uh, this next generation facility to demonstrate the fact that we can actually have high yield in the laboratory. And that's sort of the next step on the way to a fusion future, both for the Stockpile Stewardship Program as well as a potential fusion energy program. The challenges we faced in this project have been many fold over the years. Probably the most important is that we're taking a perfectly good facility that's putting out perfectly good data, taking it down and taking it out of the hands of the experimental community for a period of time, um, putting in what we, we, we know will be significant improvements to it, but then bringing the machine back up as seamlessly as we can. So, in effect, uh, much like a doctor would prescribe, you know, first do no harm, we're trying to make sure that as it comes back up, it's at least as good as it was before we took it down, and obviously the expectations are going to be significantly better. technologies to study uh, fundamental science. For example, planetary, interiors, astrophysics. Uh, we study high energy density plasmas, which basically means material under extreme environment. So uh, things about black holes and accretion disks around stars and uh, what is the property of material in the center of the planet. They can duplicate these conditions, albeit for a very short time, on a facility like the Z facility and really contribute to the fundamental science of understanding our universe. Everything, with the exception of just a few structural components, is brand new. Um, and there's an awful lot of work to be get done to go from a construction activity to a working production machine. Facilities, precision diagnostics, high performance computing. It is an environment where you can really gain scientific understanding at an optimal rate. And I think that's an excellent attractor for uh, students coming out of universities these days uh, who want to do high quality science and, and make an impact in the field. about if uh, this is going to be one of those projects that uh, I tell my grandchildren about and um, the reason I've thought about that is because there's a there's a lot of people around here with a lot of experience and uh, when I go and ask them for for advice or guidance or something th they'll tell me about a project that they did 30 years ago and and how you know that may or may not have changed changed their life and so I think uh, since this has been a, such a big project and a big part of my life for the past three years, I, I think it's going to be, uh, I think I'll carry it with me for forever. Um, and and uh, I'm sure I'll have stories to tell my grandchildren.
wars are just seeing a machine of this size come together and we, the little nuances we may have had or thought problems we were going to have weren't really a problem. You know, we were able to work them out and the rewards of just seeing this massive machine come together. It's always interesting when you have these multi-decade projects. It takes a lot of patience. Uh, the particular ZR project, the refurbishment of the project, was uh, really started in earnest in 2001. And we've had a team of people that have been uh, working uh, very hard for six years to design, test, and install these uh, refurbished components. Uh, I hope that it's uh, rewarding for them to see their work uh, come to fruition. I feel uh, a little sad not not uh, working on this project anymore, but uh, we'll always be able to carry it um, as a memory and uh, be proud of, of uh, what I got to, to work on here with the ZR project. most rewarding thing is working as part of a team. I find it very, very satisfying to work in a, a multidisciplinary activity where you've got uh, mechanical engineers, pulse power engineers, technicians, uh, designers, draftsmen, administrative folks, and seeing those people work together with a common goal, knowing that no one part of the team could get the job done, that you need the efforts of of people with lots of different skills. That's, that's by far the most rewarding part of this work. We'll now watch this go on for the next two to three years without a lot of participation. Uh, so we'll be supporting other organizations. Uh, so that's, that's a little bit of anxiety, exhilaration in knowing that we have actually performed something that has not been performed to this date in, in building a machine of this type and this size. It's, it's, uh, it's the first time it's been done at this level. You'll probably remember, um, to some extent, the complexity of it. Um, I'll, I'll remember the, oh, I don't know, I'll remember, I think, a lot of the people. I'll remember the fun I had. It's been a really fun project. And I think, hopefully, you know, my memories will have something to do with what they publish. You know, I'll get to tell my kids 20 years from now that uh, what they're reading in the physics books I had a small part in.